you can't tickle yourself because your brain couldn't care less about your attempts at tickling. It basically says, duh, I know, I told your fingers to do that. When someone else tickles you, however, the contact is unexpected and the shock contributes to the effect. When the nerves of your skin register a touch, your brain responds differently depending on whether you're responsible for it. MRI scans show that three parts of the brain, the secondary somatosensory cortex, the anterior cingulated cortex, and the cerebellum react strongly when the touch comes from an external source. Think of it like this. When you see a scary movie for the first time, you jump when the maniac suddenly appears. The second time you see the movie, it isn't a surprise, so you don't jump. The same goes for tickling. It's the element of surprise that causes the giddy laughter of the ticklish. Why do we laugh hysterically when other people tickle us? Scientists believe that it's an instinctual defense mechanism an exaggerated version of the tingle that goes up your spine when an insect is crawling on you. This is your body's way of saying, you may want to make sure whatever is touching you won't kill you. The laughter is a form of panic due to sensor overload. If you're in desperate need of tickling, but have no friends or family willing to help, you can invest in a tickling robot. People do respond to self-inundated remote-controlled tickling by a specialized robot that was developed by British scientists in 1998. There's a short delay between the command to tickle and the actual tickle, which is enough to make the contact seem like a surprise to the brain and induce fits of laughter. Now that the pressing problem of elevating loneliness through robotic tickling has been addressed, scientists can shift their attention back to finding a cure for cancer. Thanks for watching. See you on my next video.